Welcome back, fuckers. Righty, on today's video, we're going to run through all things laser guided bombing. So, all the GBU uh, laser guided varieties that the F 18 Hornet can take. We're going to go through how to load it to the aircraft, how to set the fusing, and how we will do a, uh, a bombing run using the GBUs on targets. So, let's get into this bad boy. So, first things first, we're going to bring up our rearm screen up here. So, we're going to put on the center line a fuel tank on the left hand cheek station. We're going to put our at flare pod. So you need a targeting pod if you're going to self laze targets. Obviously, if you're not going to use uh, a targeting pod, you can only buddy laze essentially. You can only have it, you need someone else lazing for you. But a targeting pod is going to make your life so much easier. So make sure you take a targeting pod either on the uh, left hand cheek or on the center line. Now, let's go through loading up. So on the Inboard and outboard, so station two, three, seven, and eight, we can carry the stores that we're going to be discussing today. So down here, we've got our GBU variety. So we've got a GBU 10, which is a 2,000 pound laser guided bomb, a GBU 12, which is a 500 pound laser guided bomb, and a GBU 16, which is a 1,000 pound laser guided bomb. And the new addition to the, uh, the armory is the GBU 24 Paveway 3, which is a 2,000 pound laser guided bomb. So it's just got a little bit uh better guidance kit loaded to it and it uh you use you employ it a little bit different so we're going to go through that as well how to use the gbu24 if you haven't used that one before so we're going to go ahead and we're going to load on to our aircraft we're going to put our 2000 pound gbu10 we'll then put a 500 pound on the inboard and then on the outboard we're going to put a GBU 16 and then we'll put the paveway 3 all right so there we go there's our four different types of bombs GBU varieties so we're going to go ahead and load that up <clears throat> while that's doing its thing make Copy. sure that if you are doing a precision bombing with the targeting pod make sure that you align your j hammocks if you're going to be using j hammocks all right your joint helmet mounted queuing system which is this guy here if you're going to be using Flight this controlled. in your sortie make sure you align it all right we'll run through that right now just because it's super important okay to do an alignment on the ground so first things first you want to go to your bit page you want to go onto the displays make sure you've turned on the j hammocks all right which is this one here just left click and drag it up in displays and you want to make sure it says hmd go so this one's already been done all right but we're going to do it again anyway so when you cold start this will say not ready we're going to turn um, click on hmd and it's going to do its test all right so it's going to display these this little uh patterns on your j hammocks once it's gone through the cycle once you can go ahead and press stop all right we're then all good for that part now we're going to go to our support page all right support page and we're going to click on hmd and this little guy here, okay, bottom left, align. So we're gonna zoom out so we can see our, our HUD. We're gonna click on align, and I'm gonna move my J Hammix crosshair over the top of the HUD crosshair, okay, the, the cross. Once you're pretty much there, you're gonna press and hold cage uncage till it goes alignment okay. Now we're going to use our TDC, product designated controller, to align these two crosses. Okay, so we want to align the top cross right there. And then we can press cage uncage again and it will switch us to roll so we can make sure that the vertical is nice and lined. Nice and in line. So once you're happy, you're pretty happy that the cross lines up with itself. Bumped it. Pretty good to me. You're going to zoom out. And then you're going to hit the align button. All right. And that's it. Joe Hammocks is aligned. Make sure you do that on the ground. Otherwise, you're going to run into dramas. So let's go and have a look at the uh, the stores now. We'll go to the external view. And let's have a looky at what we got fitted to the jet. Zooming in. All right. So here we go on our left hand cheek station. We have got, sorry, left hand, yeah, left hand cheek station. You can't really see it it's behind the GBU. We've got the Atfleet pod. On the left hand outboard, we've got a 2,000 pound GBU 10. 
on the inboard. We've got a 500 pound GPU 12. Okay, so that is that. On the other side, we've got a 1000 pound GPU 16 on the inboard. And then we've got the GPU 24, the 2000 pound. So you can see it looks different. All right, it looks a lot different. than that one. All right, you can tell straight away, it looks a lot different. So that is GBU 24, Paveway 3, GBU 10, 2000 pound laser guided bomb. It's got a lot better guidance, a lot more accurate with this bomb. All right, so let's uh, run through setting up the, the stations, the stores, so that we can drop bombs on them Drum, drop bombs on things and they'll actually do their job and explode. So we're going to go to the stores page and here we go. We've got symbology on the stores page. So we've got a 84LG, an 82LG, an 83LG and a GB24. So 84, 82 and 83 refers to the bomb body. That's the bomb represents. So a GBU10 is a Mark 84, which is the 2000 pound dumb bomb with a guidance kit and fins attached to it. Okay, so it's a, just a, they've repurposed a Mark 84 2000 pound bomb and just put a uh, guidance kit on it. And then same with the Mark 82 and the Mark 83. Okay, it's a dumb bomb with the guidance kit. The GBU 24, all right, is a different bomb. It's got a different seeker head. You can tell it looks different compared to that one. Okay, so this one's a newer version. More accuracy, not as accurate. They're both accurate, but it's just uh, a little bit better. All right, so let's go through setting up our station. So we're gonna select 84 low drag first. Mode, you've got two modes for the 84, the 82 and 83. So the GBU 10, the GBU 12, and the GBU 16, you set up the exact same way. You've got auto and CCIP, we're gonna use auto, is generally what you're gonna be using for your uh, laser guided bombing, auto mode. E-fuse, you've got two options, instantaneous and delay one. We're just gonna go delay one because we're gonna hit some tanks. So we want to uh, have a bit more penetration power. And then that is station, or our left hand outboard, station configured, right? Besides the laser code. Now we're gonna go to here and we're just gonna confirm mode is in auto, E-fuse is in delay one. Mark 83, load laser guided, mode auto, e-fused, delay one. And then our GBU is a little bit different here. So we've got mode, so CLA pre-planned and CLA straight line. So we're going to do a straight line on ours. M-fuse, we're gonna to set to tail for more penetration. Nose tail, it will explode as soon as it hits the ground. So we're gonna go with tail. All right, and that is all of our bombs fusing configured. So now we need to set our code for each of the bombs. So as we uh, select each station, you can see it's X'd out. We've got four X's underneath there. That is our laser code. So at the moment, there's no laser code installed on the bomb. So if you drop it, it won't work because it's, it's not going to have a laser to look for. We're going to go code and we're going to make it all the same. So hit code there. Make sure you uh, select it on the UFC and then 1685 is the laser code we're going to use today. And then we are going to also 1685. 1685. And 1685. Enter. All right. So each station, the reason why um, I had to select on each one is because each station's got a different type of bomb fitted. If I had. Uh, GBU 12, so 82 LGs fitted on all four stations. I would just be able to put the code in and then there'd be a step option and I'd be able to step to the next station, step to the next station, step to the next. So if they're all, if there's multiple stations with the same bomb, you will be able to step between the two rather than uh, that's how you're going to set the codes for the two different stations. Okay, each station has got a unique laser code. All right, and that is it. The other thing we're going to do is turn on our FLIR pod. And then our LTD slash R, which is laser target designation slash ranging. 
All right, once our, uh, we get in the air, we're going to go and fly out. We're going to switch to master, um, sorry, master mode air to ground. Okay. And then once you're in air to ground mode, you'll be able to arm the laser. If you're just in navigation mode, so you don't have any of these selected, we want air to ground. That one is what we want. Air to ground. Because we're on the ground, it's not going to work, but you need air to ground selected. Otherwise, it will not uh, not arm. And if it doesn't arm, your laser's not going to fire and the bomb won't track. All right, guys. So I'll see you guys in the air. We're going to go and destroy some targets here with the laser guided bomb. I'll see you in the air in a second. All righty, guys. We've just taken off out of Batumi. Just climbing up to some altitude. We're going to go ahead and take some targets out. So we're going to master arm on, air to ground mode selected. We're going to bring up our tack page. All right, we're going to select FLIR. We're in standby. I'm just going to turn that on, right click it to turn it on. And we're also going to arm the laser while we're here. So we don't forget. Okay, so you can confirm that the laser is on on your targeting pod because it said, says laser arm. All right, so first thing you'll notice when we've done that is we've got a code flashing okay codes flashing here codes flashing there code is flashing there so what that's telling us is that our aircraft laser code for the targeting pod and the bomb laser code that we've uh, selected are mismatched okay so if we drop the bomb it's not going to work so we need to change our laser code so we're going to come onto our uh, FLIR pod we're going to hit UFC LTDC laser target designation code we're going to change it 1685 press enter and there we go it should turn off now so our laser on our targeting pod is the bottom one is matching our bomb now we don't have the code flashing any of that stuff happy days all right so we're going to run through the two different ways of uh, using the gbu 24 so the first one we'll do uh, a pre-plan okay sealer pre-plan mode so what we're going to do is we're going to designate a waypoint. Okay, so pre-plan you need a waypoint, a coordinate. For this one, a spot on the ground. We're going to hit waypoint designate. And we'll just put ourselves in autopilot here. And we'll just put ourselves in a little bit of a... a left hand, sorry, right hand bank while we're setting this up. Let's back the throttles off a touch as well. All right. So we need to set this up. So for pre-plan mode, CLAR pre-plan, we need to input a heading, okay? A heading or an attack heading. So we're going to go UFC. We're going to go to CLAR, select heading, and we're going to attack in from a bearing 090, okay? So we're going to attack from the east. I think that's how it's going to work. We'll see in a second. All right, so we're going to attack heading in from west to east. All right, you can see there we've got our heading, heading 9-0. So all we need to do, we've got our target designated on the ground there. All right, because I've put a waypoint in with a tank down there. So we're just going to hook around. And as we come around, We're going to get some symbology pop up on the HUD and on our HSI page as well. And okay, so there's where our target is. There's that little uh, box there. Alright, so we run, want to run in at a heading of 090. So let's hook ourselves around here. So we're just going to fly south until we uh, get parallel to the target. All right, so it's going to roll out at a 
180. Alright, and we're going to wait for the target to get down pretty much to our left. You can see it's over there. We're just going to fly perpendicular to the target. We're going to roll in and we're going to attack from bearing 090. We'll just send down below these clouds here. It's a little bit of an overcast. We should have chose a better uh, cloud cover. This sorty, but it's okay. We can still drop from 12,000. It's fine. Alright, so we're below the clouds. All right, so we are going to start our turn now. See on our HUD, we've also oh, on our FLIR pod, we've got the target. It is a tank. Right there. So we're going to go ahead and... So we're not going to drop on this run. We'll drop on the next one. But I'm just going to show you the difference between the two. So let's hook around here. So I think it's plus or minus 20 degrees. It'll allow you to uh, be in the vicinity. All right, so I'm going to active pause here just so you guys can see a couple of things. It's a little hard to see because of the, uh, the sun in the HUD. All right, so on our HSI, we have got our little, uh, little box here. So this is our range when our jet flies through that little box that is when we can drop our gbu24 okay so we've got to be in that little little square on the hsi to drop it if we're outside of that square we will not be allowed to drop on the hud we've got sila pre-plan and we've got a time that our bomb will hit so log uh zulu time is on the hud there so 0505 at 0506 is when the bomb will hit so one minute we've got our time till max release and then on our hard we've got our optimum drop indicator we've got our max range and our min range so all we want to do is as we roll out we're going to line ourselves up on this dotted line velocity vector on the dotted line and then wait for this little dot to go all the way through max range press and hold pickle the dot will go through the velocity vector and the bomb will come off the aircraft and start tracking okay when you are lasing a target we're going to do the first one in auto mode so if you uh, want the laser to be automatically lasered you're going to leave triggered unbox okay trig don't box it if you box it it's manual okay so we're going to do the first one in auto drop so we're not going to drop on this one so we're just going to simulate this one and then once uh, we've done a simulated drop we'll extend away and then we'll just do a drop with the gbu24 on uh, straight line mode all right so let's go ahead level ourselves off here so i'm just getting crosshair lined up so the velocity vector line up with the asl and my steer line we're in range so i'd press and hold weapon release right now and that dot as it comes through the hud bam weapon would drop okay and then your laser will turn on automatically and you'd kill the target. As soon as you go out of that range or out of that box, it won't let you drop. All right, so we're gonna extend away now and we're gonna switch our mode to SL. And this one, you can pretty much attack from any angle. It'll still give you a box on the, uh, on the HUD to drop through, but you don't have to attack from a certain heading. You can just kind of just fly in and hit. So SL, you can use a targeting pod to designate a target, all right? Whereas um, pre-plan, you need a coordinate. Well, that's what it's intended for anyway. So we're gonna extend away here. And we get a little bit of separation. We're gonna roll back in and we'll run through. So I'm gonna bring up on here our hsi just so it's a little bit easy you don't have to look down for you guys to see all right 
right, we'll start our turn now. So there's our target over there. Diamond, we can see with the Johemix. So again, like I was saying, if you don't align the Johemix, the diamond will be offset from where the target pod is actually looking. And it'll just make it a lot more confusing. So you can see there we've got our drop line, or our zone. And that's gonna move as we line up. That box will line up right in line with the CD. Sixty degrees more. Ready for our first drop. So this is going to be the GBU twenty four, the Paveway three, two thousand pound bomb. There's our our in range zone. Roll out. We've got thirty seconds. Time to max release or time to max range. And at zero five. 10, 15 seconds, that is when our bomb is going to impact. So when you're uh, dropping bombs, you can tell the JTAC at uh, 5, 10, Zulu, 15 seconds, impact. All right, so here we go. The uh, optimum release cue is coming down. We're in zone. I'm going to press and hold weapon release. Weapon away. We got 115 seconds till laser. Or the laser, sorry, is firing for 105 seconds, my bad. Bomb is tracking. One dead tank. So the laser will just keep firing. All right, so it's on a uh, timer. So in 68 seconds, the laser will turn off. So even though it's turned off now because we've masked, it's all good. All right, so now we're going to go to our, we're going to drop our other 2,000 pound bomb off just to level ourselves out a little bit better because at the moment we're going to be way left wing heavy so as we cruise around we're going to find this four i oh, sorry three more tanks down there level out Look around a little bit more Let's find ourselves a, another tank. There she blows. Next tank. All right, so when that gets to zero, that should turn off, which it has. So the laser will turn off. When you're in auto mode, the laser will switch itself off back to safe once it's finished lasing. So you've got to make sure you re-arm the laser each time All right, and confirm that it says L arm on the heart. If it doesn't say laser arm, your laser will not fire if you're in auto mode. And if we box trigger, that auto should disappear. I know auto because we're in auto bomb drop mode. How bad? My bad, my bad. All right, so we're hooking around now. So this is the other 2,000 pounds. This is a GBU-10. So same deal. We want to line up this bomb fall line. And then about five seconds from uh, release. I'm going to press and hold the weapon release button. All right, so different symbology here now. So let's quickly just pause, active pause there. So now instead of the gbu 24 we've got the gbu 10 so this is going to be the same for the gbu 10 the gbu uh, 12 and the gbu 16 same 
style of dropping a bomb here. So we've got our release timer, 53 seconds till we're going to drop the bomb. So we've got 53 seconds to line ourselves up nice and nice and sweet on that bomb full line. When it gets to about five seconds left, there'll be a, uh, a line will cruise through here and it will descend down through the velocity vector and then the weapon will release as it comes through. And then our laser is set to auto. It'll turn on and it'll tell you how long in seconds until the laser fires. Once the laser starts firing, it'll give you time to impact. All right, let's do this active pause off. So it's going to sweeten ourselves up here. So a, a cool thing you can do on uh, autopilot is you can go barometric altitude hold and you can hit coupled mode, which is going to be a couplet to the azimuth steel line. I think it's what it stands for. So it's going to pretty much sweeten you up onto this line here. No, it's not really doing it right now. All right, so you can put autopilot on and it'll fly straight towards the drop. All right, so waypoint coupled azimuth steer line, I think it stands for. Don't quote me on that. All right, five seconds. We're going to press and hold weapon release. And pickle weapon away. Oof. So it's automatically gone into a uh, left-hand bank on the autopilot, so our laser will stay looking at the target. Six seconds till the laser's gonna fire. Two, one, and then we've got eight seconds time to impact. So we'll watch it in the, uh, the FLIR pod this time. Two, one, and enter bomb. Boom. Shack attack. Right, and again, remember our laser will have turned itself off. So rearm the laser. Two targets dead. So we're going to do a 83. So we're going to go the GBU-16 now, which is the 1,000-pound bomb. We'll extend away, pick out our next target. Turn off autopilot mode. And it's as easy as that, guys. You find a target on the ground fly over it and drop a bomb. Now the reason why you'd want to use laser guided bombs is because you don't have to dive down within the threat range. So if there was an infrared SAM down there, for example, and you knew it couldn't hit you above a certain altitude, you can stay above said altitude, drop a bomb from a straight and level flight and put it right on top of it. It can't do anything to hit you back. Whereas if you just had a Mark 80 dumb bomb, you have to dive down into its range where it can shoot back at you and you know it's gonna have a chance to kill you and the name of the game is you want to kill it without it being able to even get a shot off at you that's the goal that's your goal all the time okay you want to kill everything without it even having a chance to get a shot at you just no mercy all right so we're going to level off here Retrim ourselves because we are a bit out of whack. Yeah, that'll do. All right, next target should be on either one of these. There we go. So you can leave it on point track or because we've got our waypoint still designated, we undesignate that now. Right. So we're in uh, area track there, put it on there and you can hit point track if you would like. There we go, so we're going to roll in now. So we'll do another auto drop then with the, uh, the laser, the last one, the GBU-12, we'll do a, a manual laser just to show you all the different ways. All right, so it's rinse and repeat now. So we're going to roll in, get this uh, velocity vector right on that, on that line nice and neat. And then as soon as it gets about five seconds to release, we're going to press and hold weapon release. Weapon will be f dropped from the aircraft. Laser will automatically turn on. Predetermined uh, distance the bomb is from the target. And then the bomb will track and hit the target and kill it. All right, so leveling out. 
capture now aircraft. Ten seconds to release. All right, hold on, weapon release. Two, one, and weapon away. Retrim our aircraft. That sells an attitude hold, barometric hold. You want? Four seconds to impact. Boom. That is a shack. All right, laser's turned itself off. We'll turn the laser back on again. And then our last targets. Now we're going to select our GBU-12. So this time we're going to box trigger. But now, when I press the gun trigger, which is the, uh, the trigger you'd use to fire the, the gun or fire a missile, when you box trigger, it changes that action to firing the laser on your targeting pod. Alright, so extend away here. Find our final target, and then we're going to put this 500 pound bomb. I don't know if this is going to kill this. So we've got a T90 tank down there. And a 500 pound bomb. We've set it to uh, delay one on the fusing. So we'll see if it actually is good enough to kill. Our last target, which is right there. All right, last one. Let's get this guy. Will it destroy it? That's the question. So when you're doing a, a manual laser, you want to fire the, the laser about 20 seconds from impact. You don't want to fire it too early. You want to let the bomb kind of travel a fair distance first, get in the area, and then fire the laser when it's about 20 seconds from impact. So I'm pressing and holding weapon release right now. All right, weapon is released. So we'll go 15 seconds. I'm going to press trigger now. LTD slash R. And we will follow the bomb. So laser is tracking. Here it comes. And it looks like we didn't kill it. Or did we? Just want to see if we actually got it. I'm not, I'm not uh, confident a 500 pound bomb would uh, destroy a T90 tank. But we'll see. Don't think it did. No. Did not. And to be fair, it kind of landed short there because we put it in point track mode. So that one did miss. But you can see when we uh, locked it up with point track, it was looking kind of behind the tank. So we didn't actually hit that tank at all. But that was uh, user error, not the bomb. So bomb where it went exactly where the uh, target pod was pointing at. I just fucked up and didn't put actually on the target. Sweeten it up. But that's how you do it, guys. That is Laser Goto Bombing 101. Gone through all the different types. So your Mark 82, sorry, your uh, GBU-12, which is the 500-pound bomb. The GBU-10, which is the 2,000-pound bomb. GBU-16, which is the 1,000-pound bomb. And then your GBU-24, which is the Paveway 3, new 2,000-pound bomb. A little bit more accurate, but use it a little bit differently. So there you go. Hope you learned something. And good luck hunting, blowing stuff up with GBUs. And uh, becoming more mission-capable.
in the F-18 Hornet going to be able to fly some more advanced sorties because you're learning more and more about the weapons and the best way to use them. So if you uh, enjoyed the video, guys, make sure you hit the like button. If you've got any questions, queries, comments, feel free to uh, drop them in the comments section. I'll do my best to answer all of you the best I can. And then last but not least, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, really appreciate it if you'd uh, hit that big red box, click on it, subscribe to the channel, and then if you'd also like to be notified when a new video comes out, um, go ahead and hit the, the little bell icon for check all notifications, and then you'll get sent a uh, notification from YouTube saying that a new video has dropped from myself. Thanks heaps, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. hope you've learned something, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Catch us later.